now we want to see how to concatenate more uh, mp4 files in uh, just one files. Uh, with this code here we are going to join or concatenate all the files that we get here and um, it will produce just one file. Let's run it and then we will explain how it works. Okay, uh, in 2.8 seconds it made its work. Let's see what we get into our um, folder. Let me see where it is. In age ffmpeg, this is the folder where I have and precisely he here or maybe here sorry okay this is the uh, the folder where we have this four mp4 file and then we have this four ts file that are temporary files that there are joined into this one Let's see if it works. It. Okay, and let me put out the audio here, and let's see that we get all our four files here until the last files, and this is a file about canvas. If you wanna, uh, I will put it. So this is the the full version of Canvas 1 to 4. Okay, and uh, let's see how this code works. I created a function called concatenate and I imported two models, OS and GLOB. And uh, the first things that I did, um, this is uh, an automation for the user of FFmpeg to create this concatenation. And in um, um, we are going to include our um, command of FFmpeg into a string that will be generated um, reading the, the content of the folder. And then we will use this uh, OS system to uh, to run our uh, uh, code that is that has been um, included in the string. So the first thing that we are going to um, put into the string that will be the command of the ffmpeg program that runs as a command line. And I remember that you you have if you want to use ffmpeg with Python you have to install ffmpeg before. That is a completely free program. Uh, that uses the command line has no uh, graphical user interface but it's free and it's very powerful and uh, if you join it with uh, Python you can automate things like this where you concatenate files for example uh, but you can do a lot of stuff and also record the, the screen of the computer as we will see in another video and so the input will be the concatenation of files now after this column here you will put you should put your files uh, but um, you don't want to write like me each file each name of the file um, if there are there are sev several files it will be very tedious so now after I made this I go and um, and memorize the, all the mp4 files in the directory with this module glob.glob .glob, and uh, this asterisk means that the name can be any name followed by this uh, the extension of the video file and then I will create another empty list here for the temporary files for 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 f in ln Elenco video, so for each file in my folder that at the beginning I remember there were three mp4 files to join uh, so for every file I will uh, make this um, file equal temp plus um, this is the uh, name of the temporary file so for every file I will create this 
temp plus the number, the index uh, of the of the file. So the first file will be number one, number two, number three, number four, and uh, I add one because uh, the the indexed the first file it has an index of zero. So just not to have temp zero, but to start from temp one, I have added this number here, and then the extension of TS. This will be the name of the four temporary files. It will be temp one TS, etc. So with OS system, I will run another uh, command that is ffmpeg uh, slash um, e not slash this uh, score here and uh, plus f there they are that is the name of the file a temporary file uh, that will be not the temporary file sorry the the mp4 file that will be the input of this line of of uh, this command for ffmpeg and then we'll be copied um, and we'll uh, and this code here will create um, with at the end this file here will create a temporary file it copy the files it uh, transform it uh, and uh, it then saves it as with this name that is file that is this name here that we created before so it will save four files in this case and if there are more eight files it will save save temp eight temporary file and so on and uh, then the um, the name of the files, the temporary file, will be added to this list here, and will be also printed. This is just to see what what's happening in the console. Then, for every uh, file, the temporary file included in this list, we are going to add to uh, string the name of the file. Okay. Because after so now after we have created the four temporary file and put the name of the files into here, we are going to put our uh, the name of the file after concat, because we have to concatenate each temporary file into a single unique um, MP4 file that is the sum of the four uh, initial MP4 file. So. Um, and then after the file we have to add this symbol here so if a length file is more is uh, mm, but not at the end so this is uh, this avoids that uh, it puts uh, this thing here at the end that will uh, make the code wrong and instead mm, and um, and uh, at the end, so when uh, when it ends, it will uh, add to the string this uh, after the concatenation, it will copy and uh, make this transformation here and save it as with the name output mp4. Then it will print uh, the this uh, the full uh, code here. This is just uh, to uh, control the code and this. OS system will run the code to join the MP4. The start from here adds uh, the name of the temporary files uh, made here, and um, and then this slide, this uh, symbol here, and then for every file, and then the transformation into uh, one file. So that's all that the code does explained line by line I um, you if you want to study FFmpeg you gotta go on the site and study all this stuff about conversion etc this was just an automation to join all the files and you see the temporary files are these you can delete them after you made you made your job and because you have everything into the output file that I changed the name here in full canvas 1.4. So this is the way as you can simply um, join more files if you are if you split your lesson in more video and you want to so upload like me maybe uh, the whole video without 
using any program why I use FFmpeg instead of a video program and not just because it's free but because it's fast because this takes just a few seconds uh, I can immediately record every single file always with FFmpeg and we will see this in uh, in another video and then after we recorded all the files in different um, you know, all the video in different files we can join them with just the click of a, of a button once you copy this file mm, I'm going to uh, put um, a link t in uh, the description of this video where you can um, copy uh, this uh, when you can copy this code from my blog